Well, hey there, it's meteorologist Chris Spears in Colorado's Weather Center. We made history on Saturday as a derecho crossed the state. That's a line of storms at least 60 miles long, traveling roughly 400 miles, according to the American Meteorological Society. Some meteorologists will say 250 miles qualifies. But either way, it's a long distance, and you need consistent wind damage reports along the entire path, and that is indeed what we saw on Saturday. In Colorado, the top gusts at the top of Winter Park, 110. 10 miles per hour, 90 at Copper Mountain, east of Denver on I-70, 85 at Cedar Point, up in Rockport, that's Weld County, 82, 80 in Castle Pines, and 78 at Denver International Airport. Look at the bottom left of your screen, that storm line formed in eastern Utah across the entire state of Colorado, pushed into Nebraska and South Dakota, and eventually ended in the eastern part of North Dakota early Sunday morning. I'm going to loop it for you one more time, and you can see Saturday morning, about 9, 10 o'clock, that line started forming in eastern Utah. There it pushes across the state. There was lightning along the entire path, but right here you see the lightning strikes go away. That is just a data issue. We do not subscribe to lightning data outside of our immediate region of Colorado, but I can assure you there was lightning along the entire path until those storms faded. And there goes the derecho, something that we probably have never seen before in terms of forming on the west side of the Rocky Mountains and moving through the Rocky Mountains across the Continental Divide and to the east. Normally, the ratios are found in the eastern part of the United States, east of the Rockies. So pretty amazing event to witness. At times, some of the storms on the western slope of Colorado yesterday, their movement, they were going between 100 and 120 miles per hour. Some amazing stuff.